Kwa hivyo hata nyinyi kusikia hayo maneno ya kwamba alikuwa pengine analewa mlisha kwa faida ya mtazamaji. You know during uh, mazishi many people criticized wakasema kwamba watu wamejaa sana kwenye mazishi, wame disrespect chira, wame wamekuja kwa wingi. Nyinyi kama familia mlichukuliana. Wakati shira uh, shughuli zinaendelea za kumzika na kufanya matayarisho au kupewa nafasi kamili kando na nyinyi kuamua mtamzika au kupewa muda mwafu kama nafasi kamili ya kuamua this and this wa wakachukua labda kweni ni affect aje inakuwaje tongo nguvu mimi naitwa presenter Ali your entertainment PA the Ace for amazing siku zote natia bidii kuhakikisha kwamba nakuletea stories tofauti and of course uh, leo hii tupo uh, Kiambu county uh, Gidhunguri sub county na Gadhani nji village na nimekuja moja kwa moja na inakuwa tu ni wiki mbili baada ya kumpoteza tiktoker uh, the late Brian Chira na tumekuja tu kupiga story na babu yake tuweze tukamfahamu kuna mambo mengi yamekuwa yakiendelea kwenye mtandao kuna perception ambayo watu wamekuwa wakifahamu uh, kumhusu Brian Chira lakini we want to know what the family really remembers him for what the family really uh, knows him for na huyo ambaye tuko naye hapa ni babu yake lakini naomba tu ujitambulishe uh, mi kwa jina naitwa George Gigi wa Mai. Mm -hmm. babu yake Shila. Mm -hmm. hapa tumemzika. Yeah. Kwa hivyo eh, we unaishi hapa sehemu ambayo eh, Brian Shira amezikwa. Mm -hmm. Na tumekuja siku ya leo kuzungumza tuna wewe kidogo uh, kama mtu ambaye umemuona Chira aki grow up eh, tangu utotoni. Pengine Brian Chira alikuwa ni kijana wa gani? Kijana mkakamavu, kijana ambaye nidhamu yake ni ahari ya juu kijana alikuwa anapenda masomo pia ni kijana alikuwa e, ni wa kutamaniwa na wengi juu ya vitendo yake akitumwa yeye yeah, anaenda pale popote ametumwa bila kupoteza wakati wote nidhamu yake ilikuwa ya hali ya juu ndio mm -hmm. unaweza kukumbuka pengine vitu gani kuhusu utoto wa branch hilo branch chira alikuwa hapa akija mamangu alikuwa akija hapa anamsaidia kazi akiwa katoto kadogo sana na wakati huo mamake alikuwa anafanya kazi kwa shule alikuwa mwalimu ndiye alikuwa anakuja naye hapa na alikuwa pia mamake alikuwa ni mama ambaye alikuwa na nidhamu ya hali ya juu hapa akija nyumbani kwetu ndiye alikuwa anafanya kazi gani alikuwa mwalimu mwalimu eh mwalimu wa, wa nini alikuwa anafundisha kompyuta kwa shule iko hapa inaitwa St Joseph High School yeah. ndio na tunafahamu pia kwamba mamake mzazi aliaga eh, chira akiwa angali mdogo pengine unaweza katusimulia kidogo kuhusu eh, kuhusu kuondoka kwa mamake na maisha yake yalibadilika kwa kiwango fulani au kwa aina yoyote baada ya mamake kuondoka haikubadilika wakati ni wakati maisha yake haikubadilika alisoma alifundishwa alilipiwa karo ya shule isipokuwa tu ni wakati ameenda university akawa mbali na nyumbani sasa maisha yake ikabadilika kidogo unajua pia ni kijana mzima ambaye na mtoto wa university unajua ni mtu wa ku, kujifanyia yake ambaye anajua juu nilikuwa ni kijana mwelefu na alikuwa anataka kuwa kiongozi na alijaribu vyote anaweza lakini kwa wakati mwingine fedha zinakosekana na hiyo wakati huo nyanya hayuko kaana kazi. Ya. Yeah. Baada ya mamake kuondoka pengine kwa kwa kurudisha nyuma, eh, inasemekana kwamba dadake mamake ambaye ndo aunt yake ndo alichukulia uskani. Alichukulia uskani na akamlea vizuri sana. Akamfundisha, akampeleka sekondari, akampeleka university, akaondoka duniani. Shira ndio alipata shida zikaanza kuingia mambo yalibadilika kwenye maisha branch ira baada ya aunt yake kuaga e, baada ya aunt yake kuaga uh -huh. ya yeah. kwa sababu yeye alikuwa na tegemeo kuu lake uh -huh. na pia hapa akawa ni, ni kama ali, 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 nini ikawa haku hakukuwa sawa hakukuwa sawa yeah. mm. so do you think pengine hapo ndo depression ilianza ndio hapo kwa kwangu naona ni kama ndio hapo ilitoka kwa sababu ni kama aliona oh ulimwengu umeisha ule alikuwa atakemeo rangu hayuko sasa fanya nini sasa lakini yeah. nyanya alifanya na alijaribu kujaribu vile anaweza kum, kumpeleka shule na akangangana na alikuwa tu anasoma tuna shida yeah. shusho yake pia ambaye ni dadako kama sijakosea alikuwa a very dada eh, ni ni sistangu wewe tumahitaji kwa Kiswahili oh, ni dada dada yeah. <laughs>
Nisistako, wacha niseme hivyo. Shosho yake ambaye ni Sistako alikuwa a very big, aliplay a very big role kwenye maisha ya Brian Chira na tuliona walikuwa very close. Pengine unaweza uka, ukatuelezea ule ukaribu ulikuwa vipi? Uh, wake e, wake Kuku, na shosho. Walikuwa mzuri, alikuwa na muopa. Wajua sasa kulea mtoto na kumfikisha pale ambayo amefika mm -hmm. si mpaka awe na nidhamu nzuri kwa hivyo Brian alikuwa kijana na nidhamu mm -hmm. alikuwa na tii nidhamu ya shushu alikuwa na muheshimu mm -hmm. alikuwa amepelekwa kanisani alikuwa kijana wa kanisa mm -hmm. mpaka yale tunasikia mimi ni siaelewi ukisikia watu wakisema kwamba he was loud alikuwa anapiga kelele alikuwa anatukana watu yani huyo so Brian ambaye mlikuwa mnamfahamu si eh yeah. sisi tulikuwa tunamjua ni kijana mtulifu sana hata kuongea kwake akiongea unataka arudie tena kwa sababu kwa vile anaongea kwa upole mm -hmm. eh yeah, kitumo hapa anaongea kwa upole mm -hmm. na hakai hata akitumo hakai anarudi haraka tu kwa nyumba mm -hmm. eh yeah, nyumbani kwa na kuheshimu wazazi pengine alikuwa mnawaheshimu hata sisi alikuwa anatupa heshima yeye yeah, akuja hapa tu wakati mmoja tu anakuja anatuomba fea ya kurudi university tunampea kama huna anaridhika tu hana mm -hmm. kelele na hana la kusema mm -hmm. mm. kwa hiyo amkuwahi kupatana na Brian Chira ambaye tulikuwa tunamuona kwa mitandao ambaye analeta vurugu ambaye pengine ni mlevi hatukumjua hivyo sisi tulimjua ni kijana mzuri na ni kijana ana bahari yani atasonga bere kwa sababu alikuwa ni kijana msomi eh kwa hivyo hata nyinyi kusikia hayo maneno ya kwamba alikuwa pengine analewa mlishakasa zaidi zaidi hatukujua uh, ni kitu imekutukwa kwa msangao kwa mshangao mkubwa sana sita ito hiyo mentality ya chira ni mlevi mhm mm kwenu mm -hmm. you know why uh -huh. i was training the other day Where, how did i come into the limelight kwa mlevi thank you witness i witness i witness mm -hmm. Nikio, nikuwa pale nilikuwa mlevi sasa hii hata 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 nikuwa sober for two months mm -hmm. you just say the opinion of chira is drunk chira is drunk chira is drunk chira is drunk chira is always drunk yeah. labda labda nikiuliza mm -hmm. eh, brand chira mara mingi tulikuwa tunaona akiongea alikuwa na mention sana na kuru na mwisho wa siku wakati amefariki tume watu wengi kwa niaba ya watazamaji tuulize tu wanauliza eh, na kuru na hapa mahali tulipo na kazi kwa hapo unaweza tuweka wazi labda ndio pia yule anauliza kaweze kuwa sawa aje eh, na kuru alikuwa anatacha sana na kuru mm -hmm. kwa labda kwa shosho mm -hmm. na mwisho wa siku akakuja kuzikwa hapa mm -hmm. kiambu mm -hmm. unaweza tuweka wazi kwa hilo kwa sababu mara mingi hatukusikia kitaja kiambu 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 hakuwa anataja mm. yani na kuru na kwao najua hapa kwao ni hapa ni kidhongodi pia mm -hmm. e, sasa kama hataji anakisema nyumbani ni nyumbani mm. <laughs> ya yeah. okay hivyo muda mwingi kienda kumtembelea shusha alikuwa anakuja huko Ari, alikuwa anakuja kidogo tu mm. shusha anamtuma ama yeye tu anakuja na tusalimia mm -hmm. e, hata kuna wakati alikuja hapa na akaniletea kuku juzi mm -hmm. e, akanipitia kunisalimia okay. kitu last year yeah. alikuja tu akanisalimia guka basi nikampea kuku na yeye pia kanulia kuku. Kwa hivyo nakuru ilikuwa pia nyumba ya pili. Ah ah si huko alikuwa anasoma huko. Oh. Yeah. Si kwamba alikuwa huko ndo nyumbani kwao. Ah ah si kwa nyumbani kwao. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Na one of the things pia ambayo it really came out uh, ikashock watu wengi was him you know publicly declaring that uh, you know he was gay. Pengine hiyo story mlikuwa mnaijua? Even I've never heard of that is just a history is something which i've never had even i've never had people mentioning mm -hmm. even you know, through media or through in a, in a way or from blind mm -hmm. is something that i'm hearing from people mm -hmm. which never existed mm -hmm. yeah i have never i've never i have never heard from him at in one time yeah what i've been hearing of him i want to be this and that i want to be a reader I want to be an economist. Mm -hmm. I want to start my broadcasting center. Mm -hmm. Such things. But about that I've never heard of it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um na pengine pia ni niulize tu kwa faida ya mtazamaji. You know during uh, mazishi many people criticized, criticized wakasema kwamba watu wamejaa sana kwenye mazishi, wamemdisrespect Chira. 
wame wamekuja kwa wingi nyinyi kama familia mlichukuli we were so excited and very happy because this was not this was, was not an ordinary barrio this was a public barrio whereby she attracted many people many people were attracted by Sheila, these young men. People migrated. If they hear Sheila is here, they will just chase him and come. So we were so excited that, oh, Sheila was so that known. Because we are so happy. Why, why, why can we say that we are annoyed because of people coming to the barrio? Yeah. Apart from that, kuna etetesi kwa mitandao wakati shira shuguli zinaendelea za kumzika na kufanya matayarisho amu kupewa na fasi kamili kando na nyi kuamua mtamzika amu kupewa muda mwafu kama na fasi kamili ya kuamua this and this wa wakachukua labda kweni ili wafekte aje we are not affected because we we, we reached to a compromise mm -hmm. that this will be done by this we are so tulidhika sisi wenyewe hatu katu kuona kama tume mm -hmm tumenyanganywa mtoto sisi vile tuliagana na wao tulifanya na tukalidhika do you feel like kenyans wali come through do you feel like kenyans wali support you know kwenye kumzika branch walifanya kenyans contributed a lot internationally even locally and you are so excited Did you expect it as fast as i expected it because I, I expected it she, she, i knew him i have been following of him and i have seen his star so the worry is Shira has gone. Yeah. So we will say we will get another Shira. Okay. Yeah. Kwa kwa kwenye pande wako mtu kama wewe umemuona he grow tangu tutoni mpaka ukubwani mwake kifo cha Brian Shira kili ku affect kwa kiwango gani? Ah affect tu kwa sababu niliona we have lost a leader. Kenya has lost a leader. Kenya has lost as a young man who could mentor young men young to young and uh, we are shocked i'm shocked and i'm shocked kwa kwa heshima ya familia na kwa heshima ya branchira kwa vile tulimheshimu kuna hapa jusikati kuna vile tunajua mfu inafaa aheshimike na akue wakati amefariki tumstiri kwa kwa heshima na hivyo vyote tunajua privacy yake na juice kati tumeona picha za branch era za utupu zimetembea pale kwa mtandao of which zinaweza eh, mtoto mwenye anaweza muita anko shira ama baba yake ama mama yake ama dada yake apatane nazo hata e, kama amefariki hiyo ni aibu kubwa labda hizo picha zimewafikia na hata kama hazijawafikia unalipi una la kusema uh, kwa hizo picha what I advise uh, those people who are trained to be in media mm -hmm. to be ethical mm -hmm. to have ethics mm -hmm. uh, because privacy matters a lot mm -hmm. but if they are viral what do you see sure. uh, digital is a, is a game changer yeah. so we are in a new era mm -hmm. so we are okay one of the people in Baopia was deeply affected by Chita's death, we would say in Shosha, because they were really close. Sasa hivi, pengine mmezungumza nae, pengine umejua hali yake, anaendeleaje? Yeah, ni mzima, na she is recovering, and she is well. She is well. Yeah. Okay. Na kwa, kwa wakenya tu ambao wanatazama, eh, sasa hivi, pengine ya mkupata fursa ya kuambia asante, kwa 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 mchango pengine am kupata fursa ya kusema thank you for the support maybe you can you can take the opportunity and say that. Uh, who will i thank the kenyans the kenyans have done it yes. and uh, we are so excited mm -hmm. what i should tell kenyans is let kenyans be united mm -hmm. let uh, fight the tribalism mm -hmm. let, 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 let be one kenya mm -hmm. be a lu be a kiku be anything this is a lesson we have learned that even though you who are here, you are not a kikuyu, mm -hmm. but you have struggled to come and know where we, how, how we have been, mm -hmm. and we are so excited. I will thank Kenyans of all tribe, yeah. and we are so excited and happy. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things, Piambayo, it's bothering many people is the fact that even two weeks after Brian Shira, you know, Kuaga, we are still seeing people coming online, kuzungumzia kifochaki, kuzungumzia maisha yake. Does it bother you or? Do you feel like it's okay? It bothered me a little, mm -hmm. but not much. Mm -hmm. Because he had something. 
that people are, alikuwa na kitu ambacho watu hawajaelewa hawa sila alikuwa kiongozi he was a star yeah. na mungu dia anajua vile amefikisha yeye kuaga mm. na tulidhike tu na tuwe sawa Yeah. Do you feel like watu sasa hivi wanafaa kuacha kumzungumzia maybe let his soul rest wa msungumzie tu kwa sababu akimzungumzia wengine wa the, his death will meant a many mm -hmm. and uh, many shila will merge so let them talk about him it's no problem nashukuru yeah. nashukuru sana kusikia wewe mjomba wa shira uli mjua ni kama mjomba ango <laughs> oh babu eh, babu ya yeah, babu kukaa eh, uwe mjua akiwa mdogo nukajua ni star eh, labda kwa macho ya mbali kwa sababu nasema wazee wanaona mbali sana eh, to, uh, do you think kuna chira mwingine yupo hapa ambaye kwenye familia ambaye tumtegemea atafanya makubwa i saw him coming yeah even this time uh, he came here before even he was known in media Uh, we talked and told him you'll be a min you can be a minister you can be president you can be anything mm -hmm. we have many shilas here yeah in this, in this you come you'll see them there are many <laughs> yes. yeah they are here okay. they are here wow. uh, many mm -hmm. yeah.